How's it going everyone? We're back with another little shootout video and today we're going to be talking about the Pittsburgh Penguins who as you probably know by now, I just heard this morning uh, pretty much they fired Ray Shiro and Dan Bosma, the coach and GM. Uh, this is pretty expected. I really thought Bosma would be fired last year after getting swept by the Bruins and more importantly after Crosby and Malkin didn't even have a point in either of those four games. Uh, but you know, they gave him an extension. They wanted to, him to play out this season, see how it went. And you know what? I think if the if the Penguins beat the Rangers, probably Bosma would still be the coach. Obviously, he still would be today, but probably after the season, he would still be the coach. And sure, would probably still be the GM, but who knows. Penguins, they have such a talent. Two of the best players in the world. You know, pretty good defensemen. Guys like Chris Kunich, James Neal, Latang. And I know everyone's going to blame Flurry. And of course, I do, I do too all the time. I take shots of Flurry all the time, but you know what? If you look at Game 7, that wasn't really his fault. That series wasn't really his fault against the Rangers. I mean, he had two shutouts. Penguins really just, they just couldn't score. I mean, Fleury only gave up 14 goals in seven games, I think. I mean, the Penguins just couldn't score. I mean, Crosby only had one goal in the playoffs. And you gotta wonder, I mean, the rumors out there that the coach lost the room. And that obviously seems to be the case. I mean, just... You, you didn't really get that sense of excitement anymore when you watch the Penguins. I mean, every time you used to watch the Penguins in the past, I mean, they'd be flying up the ice, Crosby to Malkin, one-timers, and not even that, they'd just be pushing the play, and, and you'd get that sense of excitement. I mean, for some reason, like this year, you just didn't get that when watching. Obviously, the, the Columbus series was pretty exciting, but that was more because Columbus was about to upset them, or looked like they, at least they were about to upset Pittsburgh. I mean, but obviously Pittsburgh's skills just were too much for Columbus to handle, but then against a good, you know, defensive team like the Rangers, who has a lot of depth, Especially that third line. Uh, you know what? Their flaws were, were exposed. And it just wasn't an exciting series overall. Game 7 was cool. But that's just because it was Game 7. But yeah. Overall, not a great series for the Penguins. And yeah. What's the result? Coach and GM get fired. So, I don't know. What do you guys think the problem is? I mean, I don't think the problem is Crosby or Malkin. And obviously, no, no one's going to say the problem is Crosby. If they do, that's ridiculous, and uh, I don't think anyone should put the blame on Malkin either. I mean, he's played well. I mean, he's played well this season. He played well in the playoffs. Maybe he could have played better. Of course, every, everyone could have played better, but Malkin is definitely not the problem. But the problem may be their cap hits. I mean, Malkin signed to, what, a $9.5 million deal? And then Crosby, he's got the $8.7 million extension. So yeah, it's, it is going to be hard to build around that, but I think they got to look at trading guys like either a, a James Neal or a Chris Letang. Guys with, like... A big chunk of salary you can move out and maybe get some, I don't know, a better player to play with Crosby. Kroonitz is great, but I just don't think they have the answer on the right wing. I mean, I know Dupuis was hurt this year, but I don't, I think they need an elite level or an even a, not an elite level, but just a really good playmaker or even a sniper just to play with Crosby on the right wing with Chris Kunitz. And then Malkin and, if you don't trade James Neal, Malkin, you mean maybe a guy like Jokinen and they can get another free agent to play with him. But yeah, I would think their first move would be trading one of Latang or Neal. I mean, they got big cap hits, especially Latang starting next year. So you could probably and you'd probably get a hell of a lot for one of those two guys. I just don't think trading Malkin's the answer. And I've heard rumors that he wouldn't even like go to the new team. He'd just probably go to the KHL if he got traded or something like that. So yeah, they probably wouldn't do that. As far as Flurry goes, I mean, he wasn't the reason they lost. Like I said, in Game Seven or in the series, but. It, it may just be time for a new look in net with, with Flurry, but again, he still has another year on his contract, so it's going to be hard for them to decide what they want to do. I don't know if you could, I don't know how, what you would really get for Flurry. He's a great regular season goalie. He's, he's a, one of the best in the league. So yeah, we'll see. We'll see what happens. But yeah, overall, just disappointing years for the Pen Pittsburgh Penguins. After the year they won the cup, I mean, they lost in the second round to Montreal. That was clearly an upset. And then the year after that, they lost in the first round of Tampa Bay. Uh, but Malkin and Crosby were both injured that year, so you can kind of give them a pass on that. Year after that, they lost in the first round of Philly, and then that was a series where Malkin and Crosby just totally lost their discipline. They came unraveled. They tried to play the Flyers game instead of just playing their own, and they lost. Credit to the Flyers, though. I mean, that still is one of my favorite series in the last few years. I mean, that Pittsburgh range, sorry, that Pittsburgh and Philly series, it was so exciting every game. But anyways, yeah, and the year after that, what happened? Yeah, that, that's when they went on that run last year. And then they got to the, the Eastern Conference Finals against the Bruins. They got swept. Malkin and Crosby didn't get a point. And now here we are today. 
They lose in Game 7 to the Rangers. You know what? Crosby won goal in this playoffs. I mean, it, it, he just didn't get it done. Malkin played well enough. Uh, but, you know, when you look at Crosby, Dupuis was hurt, and they had to play guys like Gibbons and Stepniak on the wing with him. I mean, that's just... There's no way that's going to get it done in the playoffs. I mean, they need to upgrade that first line right wing. I don't think Dupuis the answer, even though he was hurt. But yeah, what do you guys think they should do? I mean, maybe a trade, and this is a crazy trade, but how about a guy like Jordan Eberle from Edmonton in a deal for, like, Chris Letang or something? I don't know. Let me, let me know what you guys think. I also think they should upgrade their blue line. Guys like Brooke or Brooks Orpix gotta go. I think the only reason he made Team USA was because Bilesman was the coach. And Ray Shura was kind of forced to listen to him. Man. So yeah, those two are both gone. I'm sure they'll both get jobs pretty soon. I mean, uh, imagine if Ray Shiro or Bilesma go to Washington and they coach Ovechkin now. I mean, that would be hilarious. I would love to see that, actually. So yeah, we'll see. Yeah, I think they need one of those defensemen for forward trades. Maybe like an, uh, Latang for Aberly or like a James Neal uh, for like Kevin Shattenkirk or something out of St. Louis. Just to shake things up. They need better defense and they need uh, a first line forward to play with Crosby. Other than that, I mean, obviously they'll be fine. They'll be still be finished. They'll probably still finish first or second next year in the East. They're just too good. Crosby's too good. Malkin's too good. They just needed a change. And change is coming. Yeah, let me know what you guys think they should do. And what you thought of the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy. Have a good one.